Hi everybody, welcome back to Soul Like Dotty and happy Easter to everyone and if you don't celebrate Easter well just happy holidays if you're having some time off with family and friends wherever you are in the world and um, welcome back to all my subscribers and if you're new to me well hello and thanks for stopping by today so it's just a little catch up what I've been up to this week and um, where I'm at with my April plans etc so um you may remember last week I was off to cut out the new Tilly and the Buttons Mabel dress. I was going to make it at Sawtoon, but I love the chat at Sawtoon and I often make mistakes if I'm doing a new pattern or something. So I have cut it out and um, I've been trying um, sharing on different because I've got a new faff machine now compared to last year when I was doing sharing. Um, but I still my preference is still my cover stitch or my really basic brother LS14 does it really well. So I've done my little tester. Um, this is the fabric, it's cut and ready, um, that's just literally one row, so I thought it was interesting, I don't know how well it'll come out though, that's the only thing, just to show you how neat it looks on the back when you do it with a cover stitch machine, I know not everybody has one, you don't have to have one at all, but it just comes out quite tidily on the back there, um, so yeah, that's kind of threaded up, I think I'm going to try and get that done, um, maybe today or maybe tomorrow, get all the sharing done and then that's done. Um, and while we're talking about that, I'll just share this actually because it's on the bottom of my pile. Um, but I got two fabrics from Pound Fabrics yesterday and I've got the bill here so I can tell you how much they are. So the first one I'm going to share is called Pink Floral Clovers Cotton Lawn Fabric. Um, so it's a poppy fabric, it's a cotton lawn, it's very soft. Um, and I got four metres of it because the dress takes around four metres. So I was struggling out of some of those. And it's just, it's really pretty. Um, I know I've got lots of fabric over there, um, but I just thought, oh, that will make just the most gorgeous Mabel dress. It kind of looks like spots maybe from a distance, um, but it's just white background with like dark pink, a bit of red and a bit of green in. Um, so very, very spring. I think it's really pretty. What do you think? Um, so that was £6.50 a metre, as I say, and then... I'd ordered this and then I got a message through to say they had plain coloured um, viscose fabric um, but I'd already ordered this anyway. I just wanted to make a white top and I quite fancy doing um, maybe a Mabel top, I don't know, probably actually. Um, I think it looked quite cute for the summer but I wouldn't do the shared elastic because I would tuck it in or just have it loose so I'd just do the elastic around the sleeves it's white what can I say it's white viscose um chalice really nice soft lovely drape and that is 345 a meter a pound fabrics and they had a lot of them so I've ordered four meters of it in like a nice purple color to maybe make another dress with I don't know I've got purple nails do you like my new nails this week this little sparkly one is beautiful I don't know how well it'll come out oh, I look like I'm giving you the finger I don't want to be rude um, so I will just pop those over there just thought while I was mentioning the Mabel dress I'd mention that so I'm really looking forward to getting that kind of made up I've seen lots of fabulous versions of it on Instagram if you made one let me know let me know your experience on sizing um, I've been kind of working on a size 6 on Tilly and the Buttons patterns but I'm heavier than I was really when I cut that out on a 6 so I have cut it on a 7 um, because it's quite loose fitting around here and the arm I mean, the arm pieces are massive as I said last week so I'm just going to see what that size comes out with on that. Um, what am I wearing I should say I should know so this is um, the shirt dress from the Great British Sewn Bee Book Modern Wardrobe which was out last year and um, which is on the shelf here and um, I made a few of these absolutely love it um, really simple to make it's just the sharing that takes a bit of time and um, the bodice is shared front and back and um, I think on my sewing machine when I did it it took me about two and a half hours and when I did it with my cover stitch might have been this yeah this was cover stitched <laughs> sorry I'm gonna show you this in a second and um, it took 45 minutes so that's the inside of it there so yeah, but you wondered what I was going to show you there no I'm not that naughty. Okay, so it's been quite a chilled week. There's quite a bit going on. We're kind of still supporting each other at home. We're doing a lot of sorting out today. So um, I've been over to my group this morning. It's Good Friday. My group's normally on a Saturday morning. It still is tomorrow, but I do kind of a bit of a top up on bank holidays and um, a bit more flexibility. So I've been there this morning. I've had a quick shower. I fluffed up my hair a bit with my air wrap because I just thought it looked a bit flat last week. I nearly didn't share last week's vlog because I just thought, oh, you look 
dreadful. But yeah, just put a bit of body into it. It's not really me, but it'll do till I get a bit of length on. So there's not masses of sewing going on at the minute, but I think that's okay. Um, what I did do was, I shared this fabric with you last week, which was in a previous Sew Haley Jane box, but I picked it up at Sew Tune from the swap table and I made the Friday Pattern Company Saturday skirt. You might have seen me share this picture on Instagram, so I'll pop it in now. Um, I literally um, just go up where the pocket bags would go in and cut, cut it without pockets in. So it, it is the easiest of makes. And the top that I'm wearing with it is like a, it's an off-white broderie on glaze. I got it a few years ago and it's the top part of the Friday Pattern Company Avenir jumpsuit, which has been just relaunched with an extended size range. The, the jumpsuit itself is a really quick and easy make, so I've definitely got one of those on the cards as well. Um, but I just thought the two of them look quite cute together. But that was one of the reasons that I got some white because I just thought those together and I've got a blue jumper to go that I'm going to make to go over them would be really nice. Obviously, you can wear a white top with anything. Obviously, with me, it'll stay white for about um, 30 seconds. Like I'm eating broccoli and blue cheese soup at work. I mean, that could just be a total disaster with that, really, couldn't it? Now I've said it, you know it's going to happen, don't you? So, yeah, so I finished that skirt. Simple makes. I know nothing earth shattering, nothing exciting. And I'd already made the Saturday skirt in this... Um, denim which was from first for fabrics with a bit of nice like, stitching along the hem this is just one of the Guterman um, threads I've not got it here but these are the sort of things that I use um, so that's like a peachy pink colourway that's a purple one I've got one with pinky colours and then this one is like dark pink tones then this one's got blues and greens and all sorts in um, I think it's over at the studio in my sewing box over there at the moment but I really like the variety and the colours in that. Now, this was finished. I'm going to be, I'm always really honest anyway. I'm going to have a cup of while I'm being honest. It's not like I need courage, but you know. Why am I doing that with my eyes? Watch. Maybe I do that when I drink all the time. I don't know. I'd be paranoid about it now. So, I made this skirt with the um, Saguaro set deeper waistband which I really like and it's fine on the Suaro set trousers it's fine on the skirt but I made it and put the waistband on and put the elastic in last Saturday and um, as you know I've had some endoscopies and different things going on with my stomach I'm still gonna have a high ears hernia but everything else is healed but I kind of self-diagnosed myself with IBS I don't know maybe like 30 -ish years ago um, but I was chatting to my um, clinician my GP who's great and I was just sort of saying it's quite bad in terms of being bloated and I just wanted to kind of share because I know that some of you are, you know are the same we've all got health things going on but this skirt is an example so I'll put a picture in of I think this was last Sunday when I wore it for Sawtoon now I put the elastic in on Saturday and I did pull it so it was like fairly tight because I was really bloated when I put it on on Sunday morning I could kind of, it was probably about five inches too big and um, I just left it on because I'd put everything kind of out to escape out the household without disturbing everybody and um, but I felt because the panel was so deep so it's normally this deep and in, which is maybe a couple of inches and instead of it was about it was for three inch elastic um, I felt like it just sort of emphasised that area on me. So I just sat and unpicked it the other day. I've just got that ready to sew around now, put the elastic in the back um, and then that one's good to go again. But I just wanted to be honest about it because I was really good when I put it on. But I thought, oh, do you know what? This like this is ridiculous. This is how much variety there is in me. And why didn't I stop on Saturday when I knew like within half an hour I can go from my normal, whatever that is, normal, um, to, to looking like I did when I was nine months pregnant, like, you know, out here, um, which is why I don't tend to wear stuff with fitted waists, you know, anything with a zip and a buttonhole around my waist, skirts, trousers, it's a no-go area, really. Um, so, yeah, lesson learned. If I'm feeling like that, don't finish off the waistband on something because it's probably going to be a mistake. But, you know, we've got to share. I think it's really important that we share quite honestly Um and it's not a sewing fail, it's just a sewing amendment. So there we go. 
Now, the other thing that I was on my March mix and I didn't get shared with you last week was this dress, which is currently turned inside out. So bear with, bear with me a second. So I wanted to make a Dixie dress hack, which so um, I don't know if I've got the picture of it here. Bear with me. Let me dive into my patterns. I do. Ooh, how organised am I? So this is the Dixie dress which I love. I've got it in a like sort of a mid to light chambray denim. Absolutely gorgeous. Love it. But I wanted to have a go at doing it so that it didn't have the button um, placket on the front or the collar, which effectively, sorry, I'm moving that in and out. Although it's not really clear on the picture, it almost becomes like a slight V-neck on it. Um, so I got this fabric from Minerva. I think it was about £5 a metre. Really like it. Obviously, it's Czech, so I wanted to, to pattern match it and, um, you know, make a good job of it. So I did. So this is it. It is finished. Um, with the sleeves on the Dixie dress, there's normally uh, quite a deep ruffle. But I didn't, I wasn't bothered about putting the ruffle on. Um, so I just, I've done the sleeves in the way that you do the saguaro set, where you do the extra stitching on the elastic. And um, just to, it makes it almost look like a gathered cuff. Sorry, I'm home alone dog's barking so why didn't I share this with you because as much as I love the Dixie dress I just felt really frumpy in this version of it and I was a little bit gutted I'm not gonna lie because I was meticulous in making sure that they um the checks all matched it um it matched in really well at the side I just spent so long cutting it it just all matched in at the seam so the skirt is great and because it's got a slight, um, it's kind of almost a little bit rounded v-neck, I, um, I didn't want to put a facing in, so I lined it, just lined the bodice, um, front and back, not the sleeves. And I feel like I did a really good job on it, but I just don't like it. Um, fortunately, I've got enough fabric left to make a slightly longer length bodice, which will be a bit more sort of... Um, well, I'll probably cut the indigo bodice, I think, out of it. And these, I believe these are similar to the Ava dress sleeves. So I think they'll fit into the indigo bodice that I've cut out for the Ava sleeves. So this is my plan for tonight. While we're watching Married in First Sight. Who's watching it? Married at First Sight Australia. Anybody watching? I'm basically going to unpick it. So I'm going to take it off the skirt. I'm going to use the skirt and the sleeves and attach it to a new bodice. And then it'll be good to go. So hopefully um, that won't take me too long to do because um, a lot of the work's already done, isn't it? So fingers crossed it won't. But I just wanted to share it with you and be really honest about it because, yeah, things don't always go up plan. Sometimes we need to adapt and change. And so that's what I thought I would do. So I just wanted to say a um, massive shout out to Libby, if you're watching Libby, because um, Libby sent me some patterns from my pattern library at my son's studio um, a little while ago with um, Jax, which I really appreciate. That's got us set up with something that I had really great for um, people just to borrow a pattern, um, especially in the early days. Remember how expensive patterns can be. And um, Libby also... Um, so I think I put on Instagram that I was thinking about doing some jewellery classes as well. Um, just some simple sort of things. Um, anyway, bless her. I know she'd been poorly, so it, um, it was a little while. She messaged to say it might be a little while, which was fine. Anyway, this little box of treasure came. Oh, my God. So many beautiful beads in there. Um, so I just wanted to say a massive thank you, Libby, because it is so appreciated, honestly. Um, not had a chance to schedule any classes in. I need to check how many tools I've got and stuff. Um, but I'm going to be putting those up shortly. I think that might be something quite nice over the summer holidays and things like that as well to do. Um, so big thank you and um to suzanne who is suzanne on instagram and um, so if you don't follow her definitely follow her because she makes some fabulous makes she does some brilliant embroidery and um, and she was having a bit of a de-stash and she said i've got some fabrics which i thought might be useful some for some of your students so another bag of treasure and um, arrived a couple of days ago and um, so they are over there already so i can't show you them and um, but i just wanted to say a massive thank you because it is really appreciated and obviously knowing that that's going to help somebody else as well to maybe get started with sewing um, I think it's just really kind, so massive thanks all round. I think I'm up to date with anybody who's bought me a coffee lately. There is a link below if you want to. If you don't, it's fine. It's okay because I'm quite, quite chilled. 
So happy Easter guys, happy sewing. If you're busy sewing this weekend, let me know what you're doing and I will catch up with you next week. There is something else I've been sewn, but I can't share it with you yet because my So Selfless April is being shared on the 13th of April. So I have done a little bit more, but I'm not sharing it with you just yet. You'll have to wait and see what I've been doing by then. So bye and see you soon.